Hey, what's up guys? Master Trend here. Come back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about some RMR capsules, some things going on in the Valve community that are pretty much affecting what's going to go on in CS or what we can assume will go on and all of that. But before we hop on into it, only a small percentage of you guys who watch the videos are actually subscribed. Discord's the top link in the description. Let's hop on into it. But before we hop on into it, we just got to hear a quick message from Skin Wallet. Now, if you don't know what Skin Wallet is, it's a super easy, quick marketplace. But the reason I like them is because they actually have two kind of different sections. They have their instant sell, which you can sell in a couple minutes, get your money and get out. But if you're looking for something a little bit more than what they're offering, you can head on over to their market. And on the market, you're able to barter with other players and they're going to be paying real cash. The other people will for your skins. You're probably going to get a a little bit more than the instant sell but it might take a little bit longer what's nice about skin wallet is because right now they're even having a zero percent fee on some items any weapon skins from the broken fang case are coming at a zero percent fee right now and i've even joined up with them and we're going to be giving away an m4a4 emperor so if you head down to the link in the description scroll down a little bit on that landing page you're going to be able to find the giveaway and it's super easy to join and you're most likely going to be able to get a pretty good shot at an m4a4 Let's hop on into the video. So the main purpose of this video is going to be talking about RMR. RMR is something that's been slipping over the past week or two. We've seen prices that have been stagnant for a while now, and they're starting to finally slip. Honestly, I thought it would start slipping a little bit faster based on how stagnant these prices were. And I just want to give a couple insights on why you could potentially be buying them or selling them. First up here, a huge reason to sell is the gold sticker prices have not done anything good. The gold sticker prices right now are at extremely low prices. What we're seeing is that these capsule prices are just too high to support the gold prices we're currently at. The capsule price now of about 38 cents to 48 cents is really not a very good price compared to the gold stickers. Those gold stickers need to be much higher if we want to keep a stagnant value of the capsule. RMR is stuck in a really hard position because right now we're sitting between a huge major event coming up very soon in the next couple months and that is going to be the major in Sweden. But right now Dota 2 is running into a huge problem in Sweden. Right now Dota 2 was not classified as an actual sport by Sweden and this means that Sweden is not allowing Dota 2 to host their major. Now the good news is this is a little bit before the CSGO Major. We're looking at about two months-ish before the CSGO Major was supposed to go on. So there is still time for Sweden's situation to improve because of the overall state that the world is in. But Valve is currently looking to relocate to potentially a different area. They still want to stay in Europe for the Dota 2 tournament though. What this means is we could have a repeat of what happened with the Berlin 2019 capsules and some of the older capsules as well, where we saw all prices go up extremely quickly and extremely high as soon as Valve canceled their majors for 2020. Now, I don't think that this major will necessarily be canceled as of yet. Right now, it's looking like no matter what, they're going to try and put on this Dota 2 tournament somewhere in Europe and somewhere will host them. There's no place that's going to miss out on this tournament. I feel like someplace will host them. And I feel like that's going to go the same for CSGO, where someone will host them. It's just not certain if Sweden will be hosting them. But that's also a really far time away. We're still looking at multiple months from now. So I think that the situation does have a lot greater chance to improve based on Dota 2 compared to CSGO. I feel like CSGO has got a lot better chance of actually being able to go through with very little restrictions from the Swedish government. Personally, I am holding on to all my capsules. Right now, it seems like not the best time. I mean, RMR as a whole is just slipping. We're seeing less and less interest in the game overall, and that's going to relate to RMR. These capsules were meant to be opened by the masses just because they were bought at such a significant amount, and that's where the main problem runs into, is that there was so many of these capsules out there that were running into the problem where all these people are now trying to cash out some of their very small profits. It. I mean, right now the Legends capsule is slipping so much because people are just undercutting each other to try and grab out that profit, and that's something that really hurts the capsule as a whole. 
Overall, for me though, I am still very confident in holding on to these capsules. I'm not worried at all. I feel like this is going to be a pretty good long term investment. The problem is, it, we just don't know how good long term is or how long long term is. This might be another six months, it might be a year, it might be two years, but I'm confident that these capsules will go up eventually. And I think selling right now is not a good idea unless you're looking to cash out some of that profit to reinvest into Stockholm when the major potentially happens later this year. But as always guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you guys check out that giveaway down below in the description. We're giving away almost a $50 skin, so it's definitely going to be good for you guys to get in on that. And as always guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.